Hello YouTube, this is Silver Picker, and what we've got here today is some silver, obviously. Anyways, I just want to get down to the bottom of this and talk to you guys a little bit about the government and what's going on and my opinion of what's going to happen. And I'm pretty sure this is, is what's going to happen, so let's get started. Anyways, right here what you got is uh, $20 in dimes. There's silver, so... As you can see, those are all silver. Mercury's, they're, they're all at spot prices. Don't pay over spot just because someone says they're giving you mer mercury dimes. Sorry, I keep uh, I have the hiccups right now, but uh, these are just six that I had found. Um, coin roll hunting, but. And then here is uh, quarters. So what I want to tell you guys is what you should buy. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit how preppers are gonna be doing stuff today. So. Basically, my opinion is that you should buy more of this type of silver. This is called constitutional silver, 90%. And what it is, is basically just, just, um, you know, we're coinage silver. And, and what my thing is, is that you shouldn't really buy half dollars unless if if you want to have it just for the silver value, I'd say great, buy half dollars, because I I have half dollars that are silver. But my thing is that you should buy um, like small silver, so like dimes, quarters, because this is good for bartering. When the dollar hits this point where it's not worth value anymore, then what's going to happen? Oh no, everyone's going to panic and there's not going to be any money. You're not going to be able to use money, so what are people going to resort to? It's going to be silver. So, in this panic, what we're going to have to do is use silver to pay for our stuff. And let's say this shit does hit the fan. Uh, you're going to need to get stuff done. You're going to need guns to trade and stuff. You're going to need that type of stuff. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to get these guns? People aren't going to accept money. Why would they accept money if it's worthless? Silver. That is where you invest. Why? And then you're going to ask me, why small silver? Why these quarters? Why these dimes? Why not an ounce of silver? Well, if you pay someone with an ounce of silver, uh, great. That's just, that's great, but guess what? You could have wasted maybe a half an ounce. What if you, what if that person's doing something for you that doesn't cost that much money? It doesn't cost a full ounce of silver, let's say. Let's say it's like uh, someone has to go and get you a, a plant. So let's say um, they need to get you some plants so you can start um, picking some plants. I can give them two dimes because they're silver, remember, everyone knows what silver is. I can give them those two dimes, or I can give them a full bar of silver. How are they going to give me change? So exactly my point and why you should invest in small silver. And you guys should be able to understand me on that. It's a 64 Washington, as you guys can see. Very nice tone on the back. But um. anyways, that's really why you should invest in this type of silver. I'd say you should stick with quarters and dimes. If you want to go into the um, the silver, damn, what do you call those things? Uh, war nickels. That would be a pretty good idea too. Um, not many people know about that though, so I wouldn't suggest it too much in case the shit hits a fan because it it sounds like a good idea, but not a lot of people would know and understand that it's silver, and people aren't gonna have access to computers, especially if the shit hits the fan. Um, and the shit might hit the fan soon. And also, another thing is, the silver prices are extremely low. They keep going down and down and down. If you guys just save off on buying silver, and just keep on saving off on buying silver, it'll keep on going down. So, I think that's what's happening right now. So, hopefully the prices will keep going down and down and down. That's what I'm hoping. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about, um some of this foreign silver and then we'll get on to a different topic so what we have here is um uh canadian silver it's this canadian silver piece it's 1962 quarter five dollars it cost me at the time because that's how much silver was at the time um and there it is it's the moose he's upside down though there we go let's see if you guys can see that 
Anyways, Silver Moose. This is from Panama. It's silver. Paid 25 for it at the time, I believe. Uh, Canadian, 1941. Canadian, 1967. And Canadian, 1920. Let's take a look at that bad boy. Now, this is truly beautiful. That's just beautiful. Let's take a look at this one compared to it. 1927. I mean, 67, sorry about that for you Canadian guys out there and gals. It's the centennial year, I believe. Anyways, let's forget about that for a little bit and talk more about silver and what happens if the shit does actually hit the fan. Now, another thing behind this shit hitting the fan is that the government and what Obama is trying to do is trying to take away people's guns. Haven't we seen what happened when the government tries to take away your guns? I mean, we all know about what happened all over the world, but in Russia, everywhere. But no, the government just insists on taking away people's guns. And they're trying to do that. They're trying to ban your rights to own a gun. And this is a big problem in the United States of America. A lot of the liberals are trying to take away your guns. And and this isn't going to sit tight with, with people, you know, and it's not good. It shouldn't happen. And it's it, the government all over the world, all over the world. When the governments have done this, they've done it in uh, what Mei Zhao Deng. Um, all over the world, especially in Russia, they did this. Um, and what happened was the government would become tyrannical, and it would fall into tyranny. And the government would go out and uh, have its army, you know, attack citizens and um, go on a killing spree and. What the government would do is they'd uh, just take away your guns and then kill you. And they wouldn't let you know if anything was going on. They'd just take away your guns. And people would have pistols and whatnot. And that's what the government's trying to do. They're trying to take away your guns and say, oh, you can have a pistol or you can have a shotgun. A shotgun's not going to do anything against an army. And what Obama's doing is he's taking out all the generals that are tough and have balls to do something and stand up to Obama. And he's placing them with wimps that aren't tough, and are afraid of Obama, and are going to listen to him. And that's the problem. Because the shit will hit the fan soon. I'm telling you, they're trying to take away our guns, and it's not going to sit tight with people, and I'm sure are not going to take it, because you know what we're going to have? It's going to be another civil war, and the freaking... It's going to be in the south versus the north. And um, not only that, it's really going to be <laughs> uh, people with guns versus the government. And, um, honestly, I don't think a lot of people in the military will have the balls to, uh, you know, fight for Obama and fight against American citizens. Obama already asked if people are willing to go against American citizens. He already sent out petitions. If you guys didn't hear, I believe it was in Missouri that he asked if people would, if, you know, people in the military would fire upon American citizens. He had a pamphlet. He had them fill out a freaking pamphlet. And they weren't allowed to leave the room until they filled it out. And, um, you know, in the military right now, it's just crazy. They're having target practice and they're shooting at pictures of little kids. Also, Homeland Security is buying all the gun ammunition. You can't get any 9mm uh, ammo. So, um, that's the, that's the story. I'm telling you, ask any cop. It's so hard for them to get ammunition right now. A lot of cops have to produce their own bullets. It's crazy. But um, anyways, that's just my views on this, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Uh, also, remember, try to lay off on buying the silver a little bit. Unless there's a really good sale, you know, because we want the price to keep going down. That's our main goal. So we can get tons of it when it hits like $15 or $10 or something. So here's a bit of my stack. You know, I hope you guys did enjoy, so make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more. That's all for now, guys. See ya.